everybody, my name is Dustin Mahaffey and today we're gonna to go over how to do the iPad charging ports or how I do them anyway. Uh, it's a little bit, bit different than how everybody else do, does them because I use a low temperature solder that, that or rework solder that kind of just makes that port lift off really easily. Now I had a video that I recorded earlier before I actually opened the device of how it was charging or the lack thereof. It wouldn't charge at all, no matter if I moved the port, it wouldn't charge. I had a great little bit about how I use the amp meter, but we'll go over that in the next video um, that it's relative to instead of this one. So this one's, this video is pretty much gonna be just the, the technique of removing the charging port or my technique of removing the charging port. And then later in the series, I will show you how I actually diagnose these things. With All right, everybody. So I just got the board out of the housing. So what we're gonna go ahead and do, look at now is do a visual inspection on the board. Um, the TriStar tester did pass the charging port, but that doesn't mean terribly much. Um, it, you know, it is pretty reliable, but uh, as I was saying, I've seen that thing as just testing. If I took TriStar off, it will fail at the, the charging port dock. Um, so we'll go ahead and take a quick look at the board. Let's go over to the microscope camera. Maybe we'll go over the microscope camera. Here we go. Go over the microscope camera. Here we go. All right. So. If we look on the back, you can see this charging port, which this iPad didn't look like it had been opened before, but it's kind of scratched up here. And I bathe these things in rubbing alcohol when I remove them, so I don't think I did that. So I'm gonna go ahead and change out the charging port. Now, I have a little bit of a different method of doing it than uh, a lot of other people. What I like to use is this uh, re remove alloy. I get it on Amazon. This is super, super low melting point. Um, so you really, you can't, unless you're just, um, going really too fast or not using enough heat on the, on your iron, you're, you're not going to destroy any pads. Um, so I'll go ahead and show you guys if I can get one of these out, what I'm talking about. So I if I can find tweezers. I'll take off this. A little bit of the rubbing alcohol left over, as you can see from taking the board out. Go ahead and grab our iron. Make sure that's heating up. That's good. It is. And now we need flux. So we'll go ahead and just kind of that amount of flux is what I put on these things. These, if you're using that that removal alloy that I'm telling you guys about, this is is a super easy repair. So what we'll go ahead and do is we're gonna go ahead and put some of that on my iron. We're just going to wiggle it all over these pads here until they all kind of go from gold to silver, telling me that they are now with low lead solder. All right, so that looks good. Now the next thing we're going to do is we're going to take some, some tweezers, and there's adhesive on here, so you are going to get some resistance. It shouldn't be too much, okay? You, you barely want to be lifting up on this or you're going to be tearing pads, okay? So. You, um, as you're going, you're going to move your iron. You see how I'm moving my iron with my tweezers across the charging port. And the charging port is, is, is nicely coming off except for where this is this adhesive is at. So now I'm about here and I, this is broken free except for that adhesive. So I'm just going to wiggle that off. And you'll see all of these pads look good. Now since I'm using that, that removal alloy, that stuff will, will snap if you look at it the wrong way. So it, we want to make sure that we remove all of that, okay? Um, we're going to get a little bit of wick here. We're going to wick the board. Not that I know a bunch of people will hate on me for doing this, but this is really the only way to, that I figured out this is a safe way to remove these ports without damaging it, even or, or when you're new. So it's a good little tip for you guys. And you'll see I'm, I'm not moving the, the wick around until it's, it's hot, okay? So Because I don't want to damage the board at all. Come back. And then we'll just like that. So that looks pretty good. Get, some, get the rest of that off of there. That looks pretty good. The next step is we're going to go ahead and clean all of our old flux off the board. All right. So let's go ahead and do that. Yeah, we don't need that piece anyway. That, that little black piece is certified extra. I read that in a book somewhere. Oh, must have been online actually. Alright, so got all that crummy crap out of there. Good. Look at that, like it's never been touched. Alright. Beautiful. 
Now what we're going to do is we're going to add a little bit more flux. Alright, and we're going to take our normal solder. And we'll go ahead and again put the solder on the iron and I'm just going to go up with it. We're going to need a little bit more flux or else you're going to get joint pads like that. So, more flux. I'm just, I'm just ha see how I'm going up with it to kind of uh, make fluffy pillows on the pads in one direction. I'm going up, I'm not going back and forth. That is what I found best helps the, the thing, the, the stuff stay on the pad. And then I'm going to go ahead and clean my flux one more time after I've got those pads pillowed. It doesn't have to be perfect every time. I just don't like the, if you leave the flux on there, it gets gunky, it gets nasty, and then it looks like trash when you're done and ended up having the ultrasonic the dang thing. So here's my replacement ports. I'll go ahead and make sure we're putting it on the right direction. Alright, so you'll see that, th that you have this. Get some tweezers so I can point that. Something for you guys. Alright, so you have this dot here and this dot here. That is to align that port properly, okay? So um, you want to kind of see, you can faintly see on this side it's aligned, on that side uh, that's pretty much aligned as well. Alright, so now that we've got that aligned, I'm going to hold it with one side of my finger here. I'm going to add just a drop of flux. Oops. Make sure it stays aligned. I'm going to add a drop of flux along with a little bit of solder to my iron. I'm going to touch. And that's just simply so the port stays in place, okay? So now it's there, it's uh, good in the line. So now I'm actually gonna put the proper amount of flux on the board, or too much flux, as some would say. And I'm going to have my solder next to me, because I'm gonna continue to access it. And then what I like to do is take a pair of tweezers that um, you don't necessarily care about, and you're gonna press down on the port. Not terribly hard, you don't wanna damage anything, but just so that th these pads push down on the board, just like that, okay? And I'm going to kind of move forward as I continue to put my tweezers on them, just like this. I'm going to add a little bit more solder, and we can continue to go just like that, all the way up, all right? That way that the, the pads are actually going down and, and, and making contact with the board there. All right, so this actually looks pretty good, and I'm going to call that thing that's going to be working. All right, so let's go ahead and clean this up. Beautiful, looking really good. A little bit more. Right. That is looking really good. Okay. Let's see on the other side. Sometimes you get a little bit of extra snuff over here. Perfect. So that port should be good to go. Now, well, we'll go ahead and run the TriStar tester on it again and see if we get a different result at all. So we'll go ahead and plug that in here and see what we get. Fail again. I was not expecting that to be quite frank. Okay. So let's go back and reapply some of those pads because this is why I use the tweezers actually to make sure they're all properly making contact. So I'm sure some of those are not making proper contact. So we'll go ahead and try this again. All right. And again, going up on the board, press while pressing down with my tweezers. I think I went a little too fast that first time. the comments in the background from my coworkers. All right, so let's test this again. Okay, all right, so see, I did go a little bit too fast that first time and the second time I went through. So I'm gonna let it finish the test, make sure TriStar test pass. While that's doing that, I'm gonna go ahead and clean up my flux here make sure the board looks good when I'm done. Looks 
pretty good. Right. Cool. And that's still running. It's on the battery part now, so that will, of course, fail as we expect. This looks pretty good. Pass. Okay, so everything's good on that aspect. So, right, like over geek next thing I'm going to do just call and let you know the is I'm going to go ahead and turn. Alright, sounds good. We'll see you then. Make Bye. sure. Get all that good stuff out of there. I'm going to take some of this captain tape wherever I've hit it at, right here. enough to cover the, the pads there and then I will cut the access off maybe I will there we go all right see just like that and that is how you do a charging port now one of the, the main things there is if you're going to use that alloy stuff to make that easy to remove you really do you're going to want to wake those pads pretty good and make sure you remove all of that stuff because it is it is very flimsy, very fragile, okay? So if, if, if you left that on there, it'd probably just break off as you're putting it back in the housing, okay? Um, so that is gonna be it for today. Uh, well, I'll go ahead and first I'll put this iPad back together and show you guys that it actually charges properly, but then that will be it for today. Or the iPad in the housing and screwed into the battery just to test the charging here. All right, and now you can see it is charging 1.5 amps, which is what you would expect to see from a good working device charge-wise. So there, it's, it's charging up, and I uh, hope you enjoy your weekend.